Canada to me is just, it's, I don't know, like, I, my friend Fam, like, one of my best friends, he's from, like, he's from South Central, and he always talks about how, like, LA, he's like, he always complains, he's like, LA's not black anymore, kind of thing. And the way it used to, and, like, I think, I don't know, there's something very, you, Atlanta always, it, it hasn't changed in that way to me. Like, it's still 60%. I think it's actually growing. And, like, it's... It, it, it always seems to be reflecting the culture. It's always a, a great reflector of the culture, and I always feel at home there because of that. Like, I, I never feel out of touch because I'm always gonna get a lot of perspective from there. So like, it's just like, I feel like the, it's, it's, it's the epicenter of a lot of culture. So like, I, I think that's what's special to me. For sure, absolutely. You know, a lot of people are calling this time, you know, living like a Harlem Renaissance in a sense. There people are just popping off all over the place when it comes to the, uh, urban culture. And as an artist, you know, it seems like a lot of artists always want a time that's, that's, um, that's very fertile when it comes to the times that they're living in. Um, so how excited are you to be able to create content during a time right now? And do you feel a sense of responsibility to, to tell a story that is going to be meaningful, let's say, 30 years from now? I think if you're a great storyteller, you have yes, to be thinking well, about yeah. how. I, I always try and I always try to simplify. You know, like Ryan Coogler actually talked to me about that once. It's just like you know, simplifying story. Cause like at the end of the day, that's all we have. Like, you know, money, money. That's a story we tell each other. We are like, oh, that means something. Like, you know, but it really isn't anything. It's just you know, some paper. But it's a story we tell each other. So the way we tell stories to each other really, really is who we are at the end of the day and it's really cool to be a part of this you know I, I don't I don't want to label it I don't know what it is you know I, I, I have heard people being like oh it's a renaissance of, of sorts but like I'm just out here to make good things and have people like hopefully influence kids under me to make better things you know I want I want in a couple of years to be like man I would have never made that you know I wouldn't have been that smart or like that's a really cool idea so yeah I, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it but I I hope that honor comes later rather than me thinking about it now because I think that might just slow me down. Sure. How proud are you, Ryan, man? I'm Ryan Cooper. Ryan, you know, he's, I'm super proud. I, I sort of, it's weird, like, I'm not his dad. Like, I should, I feel like I don't have ownership of it, but I've known him for so long and, like, you know, we've been friends for a minute and I just think he's, you know, he's really, I texted him, I was just like, I was like, you changed the world. So, I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm just happy I was able to see it, you know. You know, he could have been just like a guy who just like, made dope movies he's on the side forever. He would have been fine doing that, but he made, you know, one of the biggest movies ever, so I'm just, yeah, super proud. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. It's a very, I don't know, it's a nice thing, man. You know, uh, it's it's nice to be able to connect in that way. I mean, I guess as artists, that's all we really want to do anyway, so this provides an opportunity for us to do that through uh, this medium. And like, this is a cool-ass, smart-ass show, and a lot of really smart people came together to make sure that, that it uh, was brought about, and I feel inspired about being around the people because it ain't always like that so there's no set like like being on an Atlanta set so no it's just nice it's a refreshing cool thing and you feel at ease to just be yourself which is uh which is a gift yeah, sure. we talk about the market and the city of Atlanta I mean how excited are you to be able to you know for that to be the place where you guys are able to tell the story and like has it become a part of like who you are in some way uh, when I first went to Atlanta, I was like, damn, there's a lot of black people here. I love that. I love that. Like, it was just, it just felt like I was at home, you know what I mean, in a sense. And there's a dark side of Atlanta, too, that's, like, crazy and, like, turned up. So, I don't know. We got to explore both sides of that and see the beauty of it in the summer and, like, the colder aspects of the winter. This season is kind of bringing in the winter thought about it, you know. For sure. Uh, when you're talking about, you know, this, this time that we're in right now, a lot of people are calling it, like, a new Harlem Renaissance of sorts. sort. It's all the content that's coming out from the urban community. I mean, how excited are you as an artist to be able to create content during a time that's just so fertile and rich? We ain't going nowhere. Everybody got a story. And now we're in a position where, you know, we're going to continue to tell it. You know, I don't really view this as a moment. I just think it's like, you know, it's a symptom of the way things have, have to be. You know what I mean? Like, eventually, y'all was going to hear these stories. So it's just a good thing. So, Talk to us a little bit about just how excited you are to be a part of this, you know, this whole process that's going on. This one, I'm a guy. I've been wanting to be on this show for so long. <laughs> when I found out it was being made, because you cannot be from Atlanta and not want to rep the city. So this is like, 
before before the Emmy, before after the first episode, I was yeah. like, when I, I'm telling you, when I first found out about it, I was so excited. Even just holding everything in, like I got so many pictures from my phone. We got so many videos. Yeah. We had such a blast, and I was just like, I can't put nothing out. I literally got off social media for a whole month because I was like, I'm too excited. I'm a post. I'm a right. post, and I'm a post. And they're gonna right. be like, get her out of here. <laughs> but um, just being very welcome, being like, they come, they. Come. Open arms, like everybody, from from the director all the way to like PAs. Everybody, the cast, the crew, is the most amazing project anybody will ever work on. Like they, I'm pretty sure they didn't just only win the Emmy because of what goes on on screen, but everything that goes on off screen. Like, how can you not love them? Absolutely. So, I mean, speaking of that Emmy, I mean, talk, take us back to that night a little bit. I mean, what were your thoughts, you know, the, the moment before the, the, the award was, you know, announced? What were you thinking? <laughs> well, first off, it was the best speech of all time because he shouted out Amigos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think that's why I love Atlanta so much, because we stick together. Uh, winning it, I instantly was like, before they won, I said, well, we won some part of the cast. Of course. I said, um, if Atlanta wins this, this is going to be major for the city. Like, I really thought, I was like, okay, we're going to win this Emmy. Next, we're going to win the Super Bowl. I was like, we on top. Like, that's all we needed. But we got the new dome. So, hopefully, you know, Super Bowl is in Atlanta next year. Of course. I think. Hopefully, we there. And Absolutely. we win. It's only right. You know what I'm saying? We got the Emmy. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. So you. Okay. I'm going to be freezing, out. man. Oh. Rolling out. Rolling out. Rolling out. Based in Atlanta. So, talk a little bit, first of all, about just how excited you are. Um, to be able to create content at a time that's so, uh, I just heard you say it's on a renaissance, I agree with you, but when it comes to just, the, it's so fertile um, and everything's popping off, I mean, how excited are you? It's to be cool because I've, I've gotten to meet a lot of people who are also like doing that sort of thing, Ryan Coogler with Black Panther and Jordan Peele at Get Out, I've gotten to like meet them and, and it just feels cool because somebody I looked up to is like Steven Spielberg and you know, it's cool, like I, I saw a documentary, he's like friends with George Lucas or you know, Brian De Palma and they work together and traded ideas and, it, and it's kind of giving me that feeling of that, like man, it's cool like to be in this time, be making this stuff and have other like young people like me who are doing cool things and we're all kind of talking about it and we're all just trying to, you know, make the best art. Like, it feels like I'm really, like, a part of a collective. Absolutely. Cool. I mean, you talk about, you say, other young people. And a lot of people might think that, you know, as a young person, they may not be, like, possible or capable of doing something like this. But obviously you have. What do you think are some of the key attributes that you could apply or, you know, contribute to say, this is the reason why I'm able to be where I am at today? Man, you know, perspective. I always say that, like, you, everybody has their own unique perspective. And, uh, that's why you write from that perspective, and you talk about things you know, and you and you build off of the experiences that you've had, and you know that way you're original all the time.